Hi friends, I am Anil Agarwal and in this video I would like to discuss the formula of work done. I am essentially interested in discussing why the term cos theta in the formula of work done. We know that the formula of work done is force into displacement. But to be more precise, we should present the formula as work done by the force multiplied by the displacement in the direction of this force. Because to calculate work done by a particular force, we should consider only the displacement created by this force. In reality, when we are calculating work done by a force, in the diagram, we mark only that force. When we are drawing the diagram, we mark the force only whose work is to be calculated. But in reality, this is not the only force that is acting on the body. It is just not possible that if a force is acting on a body in this direction, if a force is acting on a body in this direction, it is not possible that the body will move horizontally. And the diagram shows the, exactly the same. The diagram which we draw in NCRT books and otherwise shows that force being marked here and the displacement mark being marked here. It is just not possible that if the force be here, the displacement will be here. Because net displacement in a body will take place only in the direction of resultant force acting on the body. When we are marking force, only this force, we are interested in the work done by this force alone. So we are marking this force. In reality, there are other forces also acting on the body. There is one mg acting downwards. There is one normal reaction of the support acting upwards. And then there is force, this force whose work done is to be calculated. So there are other forces also which we have not marked in the diagram probably to declutter the diagram. But that brings the confusion. Our main problem is that how is it possible that the force acting on the body is in this direction and the displacement in the body is in this direction. My answer is that the resultant of all the forces acting on the body must be in this direction. There is F, there is Mg, there is N, the resultant of all these forces must probably be in horizontal direction. That is why the displacement is taking place in horizontal direction. Because this is very obvious that displacement in the body can take place only in the direction of resultant force acting on the body. So the point is pretty clear now that though there are other forces acting on the body, but we have marked only the force in whose work we are interested. So the point is clear now, this is the force in whose work we are interested and this is the net displacement of the body. Remember, force is only that in whose work we are interested, but displacement is net. To be able to create, to be able to calculate the work done by this force alone, we should calculate the displacement which this force alone should have created, which this force alone would have created. This is the displacement in, this is the net displacement due to the resultant of all the forces. While we are interested in calculating the work done by this force alone, this force alone will probably create displacement in this direction only. So we should somehow calculate the displacement in this direction only. We know the total displacement S. We know the force F, we know the angle theta between them. This is the total displacement S. This is one of the forces F in whose work we are interested and this is the angle theta between them. We are interested in calculating the work done by this force. So out of the total displacement, we should calculate the component of that displacement which occurs in this direction. Because this component of the displacement has been created by this force alone. And if you go by a little geometry, a little trigonometry probably, then we can explain it, the situation like this. This is my displacement, 
This is the force whose work is to be calculated. Let me drop a perpendicular here. This is a triangle. So this is 90 degree, this is hypotenuse, and this is base. This is the total displacement S. This angle is theta. And I am interested in base of the triangle. Base of the triangle is cos theta. Hypotenuse into cos theta. So if this is S, this is S cos theta. So uh, the displacement in the direction of force is S cos theta. I am interested in the work done by this force. So I should consider the displacement created by this force alone. The displacement created by all the forces is S. I should consider the displacement created by this force alone. And I, re I, I repeat, the displacement created by this force alone will be in the direction of this force. It cannot be in any other direction. It is just not possible that kahin pe nigahe, kahin pe nishana. It's not possible that nigahe yaha pe, nishana yaha pe. The force is here, the displacement should be here. That's it. Simple. So, out of the total displacement S, the, this is base of the triangle and therefore this is S cos theta. So, the work done by this force is force into displacement in the direction of this force. Rather, work done by a force is equal to force into the displacement created by that force alone. So if I am calculate, if I am to calculate the work done by this force, I should take force into the displacement in this direction. And therefore the work done by this force alone is F into S cos theta. That's it. Thank you.